Looking at this year's team, um, we have a lot of new faces, a lot of inexperienced players, um, and it's, it's making for an interesting dynamic. After a while, we're being with the same guys over and over again, day after day, practicing in lunch with each other, everywhere with each other, everywhere we go, we're with each other. I mean, make you feel like they're your brothers, they're going to be with you wherever you go, and they always got your back. So I feel like the team chemistry is the same or even better from last year. Despite having only three returning players, the Commanders started the season unblemished with six wins and zero losses. However, players and coaches agreed that there is still plenty of room for improvement. I think this team, obviously, with us having so many new guys, has, you know, has a way to go yet. You know, we have a long way to go. However, you know, the potential for this team, I think, is great. That's for this team, the state championship team. Uh, the team is good, we're coming along, but at this point, like, we have a lot of work to do, so we shouldn't be satisfied every day we try to get better. Um, it's a lot of things we got to work on and practice every day. So when we have practice, we got we to gotta do everything coach wants us to do, no extra stuff, no extra running, so we can get something out of it. We've come a long way, but we still got a long way to go, and... This week's lineup of games is going to show us a lot about where we are. After their hot start, the Commanders have a tough week ahead as they face two of the state's top-ranked teams. Got Providence next. Bowls Friday. lineups that are both tall and talented, attributes that would prove to be difficult for the commanders to defend. However, in true commander fashion, the boys would rally and show the kind of resolve that has become a hallmark of the program. They play because they think they're supposed to win. We have to prove something. We need respect. We, we ain't got nothing to play for. We ain't playing to be lead. Wolf and Hunter, we know we can be them. Leave nothing left for choice. Every rebound, every loose ball. I need people down in the stands. Bloody nose. If you ain't got no respect to Bruce, you ain't no command. You ain't got any to do this. This 
Despite losing in two closely contested games, the Commanders had moments of brilliance and started to show glimpses of what they could possibly become. look to build on the lessons learned against Providence and Bowles as they move into district play, knowing that each time out they will get their opponent's best shot. They rebounded from those losses to earn signature wins over Wolfson and the Rock School. The Commanders now sit at 15-5, ranked number 4 in 6A headed into district play. After learning tough lessons from the top-ranked teams, the commanders look to be ready. We will soon find out. Stay tuned. This is Justice Smith signing off. And remember, lay it up or dunk it.